Hey, what's up guys? Rick from Save the Pandas here. It's been a while since I shot with Angelus, but I'm happy to be back. So today we're gonna be painting on one of my favorite shoes, the Nike SVs. It's spooky season, so today we're gonna paint some Halloween stuff on these shoes. We're gonna do some drips, a jack-o'-lantern, a little graveyard in the back, and we're gonna airbrush a ghost on the side. All right, let's get started. We're gonna turn this into this. All right, so first things first, we're gonna use the Angelus de Glacier to take off the factory finish. On the black and purple, we're gonna be a little bit careful because it does take off some of the paint. So you don't wanna smear that onto the white. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use some of the Angelus paint markers. We're gonna fill it up with some paint and we're gonna start sketching out the drips on here. I recommend using the same color that you're gonna to use to paint just so you don't have to cover up that much. Now that we have the orange drips sketched on here, we're gonna add some Gringe Green to our marker and add the green drips to the back. So now that we have the drips painted on here, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is filling it in. For this next step, I do recommend using a heat gun to speed up the process. We're gonna be using a flat brush, number six, a filbert brush, number two, and a round brush, number two. You could go ahead and tape this, but you don't need to. Maybe I should use it. <laughs> I like using the vinyl tape because it uh, curves with the body a little bit easier. All right, so we got the shoe all taped up to make cleanup easier. Now we're gonna start painting. I did get a little bit of paint on the white, so we're gonna dip our Q-tip into the glazer and just clean it off. All right, so now we're done with the drips. Now we're gonna go ahead and start on the graveyard scene. We're gonna start blocking in the colors and then we'll come back and outline everything in black. Okay, so for the graveyard scene, we're gonna sketch on the tombstones with the brush instead of using the marker. We're gonna freestyle these in the back. Now that I sketched out the graveyard scene, we're gonna start filling in the tombstones. This is when the tape comes in handy because you could just paint to the tape. All right, so now we're gonna get started on the moon. We're gonna start with the pale yellow and we're gonna give it a few coats. All right, so we just finished painting the moon on the heel tab. Now we're going in with the magenta and adding some clouds. Next, we're gonna do the stars and then we'll come in and outline everything in black. All right, so now that we're done laying down all the colors, we're gonna go ahead and do the black outline. We're gonna be using a round brush, number zero. We're gonna be using flat black so it matches the black on the shoe. All right, so we're done outlining the orange. Now we're gonna add some black outline to the green and the purple back here to give it some more dimension. So what I recommend for the black outlines is giving it some long continuous strokes rather than little strokes. It just makes everything come out smoother and cleaner. And now for the smaller details, we're gonna be using our thinnest brush, which is a 20-0 spotter. So if any of your black lines are looking too thick or they're not looking straight like you want them to look, this paint has really strong pigment, so you could just go ahead and paint over it and fix up your black lines. All right, so we're done with the graveyard scene. Now we're gonna paint the pumpkin and the toe box. We're gonna go ahead and use a pencil and just sketch it out. If you're not comfortable just freehanding it, you could go ahead and use a stencil as well. And now we're gonna start using our round zero brush and we're gonna start painting over the sketch. All right, so right now we're gonna be taping over the laces. 
Usually we take them completely off so we don't get any overspray, but since we're gonna do some light airbrushing, we're just gonna go ahead and tape them up. All right, and now for the final step, we're gonna be airbrushing the ghost. And for that, we're gonna be using mint. To give it this ghostly effect, we're gonna airbrush it lightly. We're just gonna go ahead and freehand this one, but if you wanna go ahead and sketch it, you could go ahead and do that and then follow it with the airbrush or the paintbrush. But right now, we're just gonna go ahead and freehand it. All right, so we went ahead and airbrushed the mint for the ghost body. Now we're gonna go ahead and freehand the black outline. I do recommend using a pencil, but we're just gonna go ahead and freehand it. And now we're gonna brush on some of the mint to give it more of that ghostly effect. I do recommend drying the paint as you're outlining because you don't wanna smear it. All right, so we're done with the ghost. We added some petal pink for the blush. We added some yellow to the eyes. And now we're gonna use some olive and paint some grass along the bottom. All right, so we're all done. Now we're just gonna remove the tape. All right guys, so we're all done with the Halloween customs. We had a lot of fun with these. We didn't have to mix any paint. We just used the paint straight out of the bottle. Just remember, if you're gonna follow along, just make sure to take your time and take it step by step. All right guys, this is Rick from Save the Pandas. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Angelus, for having me. I know it's been a while, but it feels great to be back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.